Hi folks, welcome to the latest MWIS planning outlook in association with Ellis Brigham. Now, a sustained settled spell of weather will take us through the weekend and into next week with dry conditions prevailing across the country. Warmest of the temperatures overall likely in the next day or so with the values on Wednesday afternoon in the Highlands getting to 25 Celsius or above. Some chillier nights will develop as we head towards Friday and through the weekend. A pretty straightforward weather story then, looking at the synoptic charts in the days ahead. Not much changing from day to day. High pressure dominant toward the north and northwest of Britain. Just a weak cold front on the map coming down from the northeast. That will just introduce a bit more in the way of cloud, especially late on on Wednesday to northeastern regions across Scotland and maybe just drifting into northeast England as well into the evening and the night. Some drizzly rain just on that front for a time, but next to nothing in terms of totals. Now for much of the daytime then it's sunny it's warm some early low level fog banks uh, will be around first thing those will thin and break and temperatures then as mentioned very warm in the west highlands by the afternoon now by thursday that weak cold front will have drifted further southwestwards across the country with a zone of cloud on it for a while which may take a while to fully break up across england and wales one or two spits and spots of drizzly rain in places but amounting to next to nothing just to be aware though of a rather breezy day across the hills of England and Wales in particular and that just taking the edge off the temperatures and indeed it'll be a fresher day across all regions for Thursday. The warmest value is still in western Scotland, eastern hills feeling that little bit cooler. Overall though some sunshine pretty widely across Scotland, a little bit more cloud and sun across England and Wales with the lightest of the winds again around the western highlands. Now, despite not too many isobars on this chart, don't be surprised, at least on Friday morning, they still have a rather brisk northeasterly breeze across England and Wales in particular, and that will feel rather distinctly cool across the hills first thing. Temperatures will lift a bit through the daytime, but quite a fresh feel early in the day on Friday. Some early banks of low cloud just possible, mainly on eastern hills, some local valley fog in some sheltered spots across Wales and central western Scotland. That will all thin and break, and lots of sunshine should come through once again. Least of the wind then across west and northern Scotland and the best are the temperatures again. Not a great deal changing into the weekend. High pressure then stays toward the northwest of us. We're still seeing that rather nagging northeasterly breeze across England and Wales, eastern and southern Scotland at times as well. So just always holding those temperatures back. It's a low humidity atmosphere, so a pleasant feel to things in the sunshine. Temperatures then warmest once again across western regions, coolest across eastern areas in the morning, and that scope for some cooler nights by this stage as well. Some mist and fog in some of the valleys first thing, some banks of low cloud being drawn occasionally on some eastern hill slopes, but western areas generally in the clear with lots of sunshine. Much of a muchness for Sunday, maybe just a bit of a fresher northeasterly breeze across Scotland as the high just pushes a bit further northwards, that breeze strengthening a bit more widely. But it's a similar distribution of temperatures and cloud, best in the west, coolest, with a bit more in the way of cloud across the east. Just as a snapshot of temperatures, now this is dawn on Friday and it may well be true for the weekend and into Monday as well, the bank holiday across England and Wales. Dawn temperatures then down to sort of sixes and sevens for many places and one or two sheltered valleys might just drop a degree or so cooler than that. So one to bear in mind if you're camping through this weekend, it will be rather cool overnight, more so than it will be during the middle of this week. Now the overall summary then as we go into the final days of August and early September is looking much of the same. I'll show you this chart to sum things up really because this is the best we've got for the computer modelling at this stage in that the high pressure area is due to stay more or less just to the north of Britain into next week. Areas of low pressure are well out over the Atlantic further southwest and some low pressure uh, over northern Russia and eastern Europe. For the time being then quite a blocking weather situation is in charge. It's quite a common occurrence but it's holding off any weather systems. Still easterly winds prevailing across England and Wales, light winds uh, more often across Scotland, temperatures staying much of a muchness, pleasant values up to about 20 degrees or so by the daytimes. The odd day might be a degree or so warmer, warmest in the west, coolest in the east and that's uh, likely to be the story for much if not all of next week. 
it's a situation that just imagine if this was the depths of winter if the high pressure area was in that situation we'd be drawing in some classically cold easterlies out of Scandinavia but for the time being it's just giving us a settled late summer spell of weather we can dream of winter another day but for today that is your planning outlook in association with Ellis Brigham thanks for watching bye for now